What's that? So what's that? What's that? Huh? So is that the way to save save the economy, uh, save money here here in New Brunswick? I caught you off guard. I'm sorry. Cheap on gas. Is that so? Everybody should, should drive drive a motorcycle. Yeah, I'm driving a motorcycle for 20, 30 years. Gas going up. Uh, yeah. Why? Yeah, gas going up. Well, I don't know. It's going to be about stabilized. I think crude prices will be stable. Think so? I make it out to summer. Hot. Hot. Is it too hot to talk to talk to me? So. Uh, the last few days have been really hot, haven't they? I know. So it takes getting better. Is it is going to get better by by next year by election time. Absolutely. Absolutely. You sure about that? Yeah, because big projects that are coming down the pike. Is it? Make a difference. Yeah. Nothing about shale gas. Yeah, uh, I think the um, pipeline project is looking good. I think the gas, shale gas, is going to be, a, you know, as we be able to get more communication there about how we're going to do it and how we're going to do it safely and the need we have here in this province. I think that's going to make a big difference. And uh, people realize that it can be done safely and it's going to have a huge impact on our economy. We've got mining interests of four different mines that are on the verge of, of uh, you know, one that will be coming starting this fall. And uh, the shale gas comes and the reps all. Irving plant in, in St. John, that one uh, should get a conversion done to it, so it's an export facility. So there's a lot of big projects that are out there. You are the only finance minister that I know that's honest. <laughs> well, and I've I been... Charles, everyone should be honest. I mean, that's the way it should be, right? No, but usually the secret. I've seen the Pito Boudreau, uh, I've seen the... What was it under Bernard Lord? Who was, who was finance minister under Bernard Lord? I think there were several. There were several. But anyway, honesty. And, you know, you don't sound like I could tell a phony person when I meet one. I'm not kissing ass here. I'm just giving you uh, we, some credit. Our goal is that we're all to be honest. That's the way I yeah. like to think of everyone, right? That's, that's kind of the way I so, see people, and I like to be treated the same. Exactly. Are you concerned, are you concerned about what's going on with show guests, the protests? And well, I think there's, there's, there's people that have legitimate concerns that we need to address and understand, and I'm, I'm confident that... As, as they understand the methods of how this is going to be uh, processed or developed, uh, I, I am confident that they will realize that, okay, we can do this safely. Somebody left a comment last night on my blog, something about batters, shipbuilding and batters, containers. You know anything, anything about what I'm talking about here? Not directly, no. Shipbuilding, no, containers. No, there, there could be, but not, not in any detail. No, okay. Economy in... in and Northern New Brunswick is going to pick up? Oh, well, there's some mining activity that's in Northern New Brunswick that's very real. So uh, I think that that's, uh, and there, cause, cause three, I think it's three of the four mines that are in Northern New Brunswick. So that's good. The potash mine will start back up and get into uh, higher production, but it'll probably be a couple of years before that, but it'll go back to running in its 800,000 a day so production. So, uh, you know, there's, there's some good stuff that's out there. Really, really, it's quite exciting. One final point. The wind, the wind is behind me. I don't, I don't have those CBC, CBC cameras. Uh, okay, let's say, let's say there's 10 million dollars of shale gas in one area. Okay, 10, 10 million. I'm just trying to use an example, trying to educate me and the public. How much percentage goes to the company? How much percentage goes like, if the Irvings own the land or uh, uh, the government? How much percentage they're going to get? You know, do we know all this? Well, firstly, right now, we're just trying to find out what we have. But then there is a, a formula related to a uh, given size production well, how many jobs it creates, how much investment, how much spin-offs. There, there are some calculations around that for every well. And, um, and I'm not going to guess at the numbers, but I mean, they're, no. they're pretty significant. And so the, the, uh, the company that expands, depending who owns it, I mean, the n number, the, the rights for the, for the gas, but in our program, I mean, that revenue is shared quite significantly in terms of uh, the royalties that go on that with the company that owns the property, with the people that develop it, the people that own the land. So there's a whole package there that's been developed, a very comprehensive package, actually, that, that is, is, a, is a good good um, opportunity for this province. One that we can't afford to bury our hands in this hand on. How's your nerves? How my nerves? Yeah. Nerves are good. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Hair's getting, is it? Hair's, hair's getting white. <laughs> well, I mean, it's been what? It's yeah. uh, almost three years. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's like, I love uh, Ted, Ted, Ted Fleming. Like, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's a best. Yeah, and Mr. ADHD speaks before Ted can get himself in trouble, <laughs> just like me. Uh, he refused to take his, his, his written Between you and him, that's, you know, great honest. But, well, it's got to be more, more of us there that are honest than. 
than just the two of us. I mean, yeah. You know, we, we all have to be, uh, we also have to be our best, our best stuff. Like the Liberals take power, if they do, I still say in five years from now, uh, then they do a big account accountability of uh, the dealing of the finance, which that's what you did, right? The government, to see what's going on. Do the Liberals will have to do that? You, you've you been in power? You know what I mean? We, we have put more measures, and they continue, uh, of transparency in the government. Like like the, the quarterly reports that, that uh, we've been producing, and we'll have the year-end, will be out in just the next week or so. Um, for last year, the quarterly reports have been put out in detail ever since we started. That that didn't happen before. The monthly report, we hope to be in that position at the end of this year, uh, monthly reports. Uh, for the bigger departments, I mean, their budget—they're there to help us get more accurate on the on the quarterly. They're kind of an internal thing, but it'll give visibility to any government coming in to see what the departments are doing, the different activities in each department, what type of work, what projects they're working on, who's responsible, when they're going to be done. That is being developed and has been developed, and, and it's just progressing and uh, moving forward. So any government will see more of what is happening than than it ever has been done in the past, and and in fact, it's quite sad to think. Um, when we started this process, just how little information was available on what government was actually doing. Really? Just unbelievable. Like what? Well, like do, like priorities. Priorities from one government to another that um, would, would drop right off the table because they, because they didn't uh, have any continuity. When, when a new government came in, they were, they were all thrown out and, and you start over. Like when I went in, my desk completely empty. That would never happen in a continuous improvement succession plan where you're building oh, really? in the future. You'd, you'd continue to get better. So you'd build on others, not only other successes, but other mistakes. You'd build on them all so you get better. You wouldn't keep repeating things. We'd do a study on the same thing we did a study on four or five years ago. Um, that's what's, what's missing, the continuous improvement link, and that's what we've been trying to put in place. So, so that you come in and there it is. There's a report card on how government is performing, and okay, you, you have things you want to move forward on. But, but I think the most important component of that is, is how the civil servants play the key role in mapping out the future of the province. We have dedicated people. We have people here that, that I mean, I've been so impressed with how they want to make a difference here. But it's been one complete priority change after another as governments come and go. And so you do that a number of times in your career, and pretty soon you say, well, why bother? Do you think the issue of ATCON and the Cash Popular was handled properly now that you're finance? Oh, well, we Minister? would have been in the state we were in if, if they, either one had been handled properly. So, um, did they, did, they mean, do, did they do the right thing? What you would have done done different with the Cash, cash Popular? Well, I, I, think that, I think the same thing exists. The same problems exist today. And, and we've, we've uh, developed, and it's, it's in its probably 80% complete, is a... Uh, it's called a kind of a business profile management plan, and the idea behind it is that we have criteria when we're when we're supporting a business or loans or grants or guarantee, so that you push more activity uh, into a, an, an objective decision-making process rather than well we got to do this because we're getting close to an election, and uh, so so you, you you need to have you know you just dump you keep dumping things down the well and and you don't get any special any change nothing's going to happen it's just going to keep disappearing, so. This criteria says, well, you know, we've been putting into this camp for a long time. It's time we made some changes here. And and so this criteria helps you follow that roadmap and give you more subjectivity. So the Cash Popular, you want to handle that? Well, you'd like to think in situations Atcon, like that. Atcon, both yeah, of them. They, they had to be handled differently. I mean, so so let's learn from those mistakes and, and let's just not repeat them. And, and every, everyone has to take, take a role now. In a year from now, if you're defeated, which, which I doubt it. I'm not, I'm not kissing ass. You never know. Uh, no, no, you never know in politics. It takes some change in, not in the year. Do you, are you going to have, I remember when they had their last cabinet meeting, everybody came out, I was talking to them and, and Mary Schreider and everybody, and there was some very, very heavy stuck deal there appointed, like uh, Dana Clementing got a pension and everybody, some David Over promised me that will never happen with his government. There will be no uh, cash payoff and this and that. It's, it's, do you see that? Well, I mean, you, you'll have to talk to him about that. Uh, yeah. But I think... You, but you're a finance put, minister. Uh, we've been putting things in place and uh, like what's been changed with the uh, with CEO of, of uh, MB Liquor in, in, relation yeah, to, in relation to having it, um, a job um, 
feasibility or, or sorry, sales get design. So it's got criteria around who's hired. It's got a, a board that actually goes out, does a search for the right candidate. So it gets out of the political process. I mean, that's that's something that now is in place. It wasn't there before. So that's that's a way to start avoiding those type of things. And and there's been a, a lot of that as we develop the, the leadership roles and the and the accountability roles and the performance management roles in government. You start to develop leaders that surface. So you don't have to pick someone because you've got a you got a vacancy, you've got a next candidate all lined up because they've been through the system and they know have the best skill set and there they are, they're ready to go. You're the longest public it happened last week. The leader of the Green Puppy Belt in Quebec. I gave him 12 minutes of this. I don't know how long I've been talking to you here. This is a record. There's nobody around. Nobody's bothering us. No assistant to say, come on, let's go. No uh, 10 people behind me like we had the, the last, uh, the last. what was it, the interview? Four minutes? Four minutes, yeah, yeah, you're right. But this is good. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with this at all. It, uh, you were always on a rush, it seems. Exactly. So Listen, thank you very much. You're welcome, Charles. Have a great time.